Are you somehow stuck and not knowing what to build for your project? Well, last week I created a masterclass where I showed you like how I think about coming up with projects for my portfolio or for your portfolio. I wanted to help you out with that. And uh, this week I want to get deeper and I want to show you how to actually get the most out of a project. So I want to show you how to create a professional project and not something just, you know, that anyone can do okay it's not like you cannot do this but I want to show you a different approach to coming up with ideas okay because that's the most important thing I want to teach you how to think about creating a project in this way if you follow this video you'll know exactly the steps that I take and most developers are taking if not all developers are taking when it comes down to creating an application so by the end of this video you'll know exactly how to create an application that you like from scratch and you just have to go ahead and code it. This is something that nobody else put on the internet. I'm 100% convinced of that. If you find another video that's like this, send me a DM on Instagram, tell me I'm lying or whatever. Let me know in the comments on YouTube, but I'm 100% sure that nobody has ever made a video like this specifically for junior developers just like you that want to break in into the industry okay so without further ado let's get started right now we have a trello board on the left and the airbnb website on the right you do not need to come up with your application from scratch you do not need to create an application from scratch to stand out but what you need is to create a product, a real product. And if you remember previously, I taught you about two concepts. One is uh, main features, okay, the, the most important features. And then you have filler features. And if we look here on the, on the right of the Airbnb website, the unique selling point of Airbnb is the fact that you can book a home and the fact that can someone can list their home and someone can book it that's pretty much the unique selling point of airbnb and most people just stop at that but if we look here on this application we'll see the most important features that this application has okay first one is a list of uh, homes very basic right so we can put here we can create a list that is called uh, backlog okay then we'll have in progress and then we have done okay that's how we start very basic nothing crazy now let's see here let's put our first card we have one main page so I'm gonna say something like MP which stands for main page and I'm going to say get cards for popular homes. Okay. First feature. Now I'm going to have here uh, filters. I'm going to call this main page quick filters. You can also take a screenshot so you know what you are talking about. So if I have this. I'm going to screenshot it. Now I have the screenshot over here. I'm going to drag it in here. And now I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I hope it makes sense. And now I can get a screenshot for this so I know what I'm talking about. You want to be descriptive with the task that you are creating, okay? Let's take a screenshot till here. We can, let's see what is show map. Oh, I saw a feature there. Have you seen it? We have infinite scroll, main page, infinite scroll. Okay, I'm just documenting this application pretty much. Um, allow users to fetch more homes as they scroll down. 
and show a skeleton while loading new data okay very basic and i know you might say you might say oh i don't know how to do this that's fine but first you need to know what you want to do and then you learn how to do it because right now you have a bunch of tasks and you are smart enough to find the required information and the required knowledge to complete this task make sense i hope it makes sense let's see what this show map does Okay, so we can say main page, show map button, and the description is going to be on click, show a map with markers of popular homes. Right, we can take a picture. Okay, we can even take a picture of the button. Let's go to show list. We can take a picture like this. Anyway, I'm not going to do that. Doesn't matter. I'm going to delete this archive. Anyway, we also have more filters here. Okay. So I'm going to say main page filters. I'm going to take a screenshot. And now in these filters, we'll set up like the price range of our homes and whatnot. Uh, we can set up a bunch of things. Uh, I mean, you can figure out the rest of this. I'm gonna write every single filter that's possible, right? Now, we already have like a bunch of things over here, right? It's pretty sick if you ask me. Let me just move my face. It's pretty sick if you ask me, right? Now you, you, everyone says, oh, I don't know what project to build. I just gave you like five features that you can make today. Okay. That's how you start. Now, the most important thing is the search, right? So we want to be able to search. So I'm going to say MP search form. Okay. I'm going to take a screenshot. And guess what I'm going to do with that? I'm going to put it here. There you go. The search form. Now let's say I want to go to Croatia where I've been multiple times. Check in. Let's say we should, able, we should be able to show a calendar. So we can put some checklist. Uh, checklist. Location calendar okay let's say i want to go from june 1st till june 30th okay then i'm gonna say guest selection and i'm gonna say two adults I'm gonna take a screenshot again, take this and put it here. Maybe actually I don't need this. Yeah, I can get rid of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna search. And now I have my search page. You see how I'm going like step by step. Search page, I'm gonna call it SP. Okay, the search page should have a list of homes
and the map. Okay, that's gonna be the first thing. Then I'm gonna call this SP main setup because this contains multiple features. SP main setup. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot. Put it here. Then I'm gonna say SP homes list plus filters. Then I'm gonna have SP map. And now we know on Airbnb that if we move the map we are gonna do a new search so I'm gonna say on map move make a new search for selected area I mean I can go like this forever right? it, the, the point is to show you like that if you start thinking you can start creating right that's very important but the idea behind this is that you don't need to know everything because right now you are saying oh but I don't know that I don't know that if you know React, Redux, React Router, and Style Components, you can make this. You don't even need a backend because you can fake all the data. You can have like fake JSONs. If you don't know what that is, you are going to search it up. You're going to have like these fake JSONs with fake data. And then you, <laughs> you just send different data based on your interactions with the application. Now, once you have this application built up, all the pages, let's say, the main page, the search page, and the individual page for each location. And you have to make it look one-on-one -on -one with what you have here, not some BS uh, replica, okay, from Wish. Once you have that, then you can learn the backend. You learn Node.js, Express, MongoDB, and then you start creating like real homes. You allow users to sign up. You allow users to log in. You allow to have, you allow Two different, two different types of users, hosts and uh, like customers, right? And then if you're a, if you're a host, you can create your own house. You can upload the photos, etc., etc. I'm not gonna walk you through everything, but I'm just showing you like it's not impossible to create a sick portfolio. It's not. It's absolutely not. But you have to think first. You cannot do anything if you do not think. That's what I'm trying to teach you on this channel to be smart because you can create anything you want but you have to put your thinking hat on okay because a lot of people are just going through life without thinking and they wait for everything to be handed to them and those people will never get anywhere but if you just do a small effort and you start thinking you'll be way ahead uh, of anyone else because 99 percent of people are just npcs they just watch content and do boring things boring applications they have no skills and then you come up with this one-on-one -on -one replica of airbnb man i can guarantee you, you'll be hired this is the secret there is no secret then to put your thinking hat on and start thinking this is so important okay i'm not taking the piece actually i have all this stuff done for my students so they don't have to do it. I have other things done for my students, for my clients that uh, they don't have to. But if you don't want to become a client, this is going to be the framework that's going to help you to create that application from scratch. And you can do this with any application, not just the Airbnb application. You can do Coinbase, you can do CoinMarketCap, you can do Facebook, you can do Twitter, you can do YouTube. You just need to be creative and figure out how to fill in the gaps, okay? Because you don't know everything, but you have to know how to do it. And if you do this application, you learn not only how to code because coding is the simplest thing that you can do, but you learn how to create applications like uh, architecture and system design and stuff like that. You'll be refactoring a lot of code. Uh, if you're not good at coding, then you'll be stuck probably. That's why you need code reviews, feedback and support while you're going through this. But this still is the framework. If you like this video, thank you. Please like it. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you want to get help with implementing all these ideas and many more and learn code really quick, 
really fast, which is the same thing, in an efficient way and get hired for your skills and get paid the good money, you can apply for a free consultation call with me. The link is in the description of this video. And oh, I have a guarantee, right? So if you think I'm not a good coach, I do tell you what to do and you do it and you don't get any results, you can get all your money back. So there is literally no risk involved for you. The only risk that you can take is to do what you are already doing. What you're already doing is guaranteed to fail if you don't implement the stuff that I'm telling you in my free videos. But if you want to take it to the next level and get really good, really fast, uh, I can help you out with that. But you have to apply for a free consultation call. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.